I'm really bad. I, when the kids were smaller and we'd go on holiday, I would literally pimp myself out to go and find them friends. <laughs> so I'd be like sitting by the pool and I'd go, what, what about them? What about them over there? And Mandy would go, oh yeah, I like her. She looks nice. I said, well, let's just watch her for another 10 minutes. <laughs> See how she plays. See if she has any tantrums. <laughs> See if she shares. So we'd watch her for 10 minutes and go, right, you stay here. And I'd go off. And I'd just sit by the pool and put my foot. Oh, what are you? Oh, what's your name? Oh, how old are you? Oh, are you? Oh, what do you play? All right, Maddie, get over here. <laughs> and you know, brilliant. and it would really That's help. But, she, but, but then she learned how to yes. make that yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, if I hadn't have done that, she would have spent days because it was before mm. Kiki was born. But did you not have parents going? Why is that weird woman talking to my dad <laughs> at the pool? Well, I'd always sort of engage yeah, them yeah. a bit as well. But, I mean, I, I really... You know, there's a great long list of what you are as a mum, isn't mm, there? You're yes, a driver, yes. you're a cook, you're a counsellor. And in a, in a small way, you're kind of a social secretary as well. Mm. Um, because it is complicated. Because it's very complicated with girls. Boys, it's, it seems to me... My, all my friends with boys, it's a much easier yes, thing to have a friend yeah, date. Definitely, I think. And I did actually say to my girls after a few years of them getting their friendship, you know what, it's a really good idea not to have a best friend. Yeah. Because this whole best friend yeah. thing mm. with girls seems to cause yeah. so much upset. One day they're a best friend, the next day they're, they're not. They're not friends at then all, Then they yeah. claim them. Yeah, You're my yeah, best friend yeah. and you were playing with her. Mm. And That's exactly tears. what I... When I was at school, I remember when I was about 10, I think, there was this, like, little book that would come out amongst the girls. Be my best friend this week is... Oh, no. And then the next week, sorry, you're not my best friend anymore. Oh. And it's heartbreaking. Mm. With mm. boys, I feel lucky to have boys because they're, they're both sporty, so they're with teams, football teams, and it's just that camaraderie. It's in the break, they're out there playing together. Whereas girls tend to kind of cluster just in pairs, whereas boys are groups. Has it been hard for your boys? Because you, you, you spent half your time in LA and half your time here, didn't so Yeah, what that was a hard transition, but my mum had a great idea, is the, the, the weekend before they all went back to school, when we flew home, she would get a group together, so we'd have this, you know, a bunch of boys come over to the house, they would play football, they'd eat together, yeah. mess about around the house. So then Monday morning went into school, they were like, hi, Esther, that was a See, great weekend. boys are yeah. so much easier. They are so easier. complicated to they do that with girls. Have to unravel I mean, all the friendship, yeah. go ravel back I think up. as a parent, if, if, you're, if you're a younger child, in particular young kids, if they're very nervous and not used to meeting new people or making friends, I think to make that introduction, like you said, yeah. to sort of introduce them and say, just have to say, hello, my name is... And if that child's not interested in playing, There'll be someone else that will be, and it's just to help them. Well, I yeah. think when they're very young, yeah, you have to introduce them to social occasions, yeah. whether it's parties or joining a football yeah. team or a yeah. tennis, whatever, any kind of club, swimming. But I think as they get older, because I think when it gets to senior school, it, it much changes dramatically. It? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then it is kind of very clicky, especially, mm. like you said, with girls. I never had the problem with boys. Um, but with girls, yeah, it's all that best friends one week, not the next, or this group don't want me included. Now, they're the popular group. That's the yeah, other thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're part of the yeah, popular group. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think you have to also kind of back off from mollycoddling them a bit. You know, yeah. I don't want to go out and beg people oh, no. to be my kids. <laughs> no, 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 Exactly. You, you, sometimes you have to say to them as well, I've said it to Kira, well, have you asked yourself why maybe they don't want to be your friend? It, it's not necessarily all about them. Maybe you're not, you know, socialising right or being very friendly. Oh, and... I, I, I would be on Kira's side in that, by the way, because I think a, as a schoolgirl, I had very, very few friends. I was only friends, close friends, with probably three people. And then after I left school, when I got to college, I didn't see them. I felt that my life really started with true friends when yeah, no, I got to college. But I was very aware at school of not having very, very many friends. But I took strength from it. So mm -hmm. don't think that all that kids makes you need a lot of friends. And it stood me in really good stead, yeah. not yeah. minding whether I had friends, a lot of friends or not. Do you know what? Listen well, to you. I don't want my kids to have a thick skin. Well, well, I well you that. have to, Nadia, because no, they're no, going to get older and they're going to be out in the big, bad world. Oh. If you thought that got heated, wait until you watch these and click here to subscribe. You may as well. It's totally free.